Your toy checkup is complete. You are in tip top shape, Noddy. Thanks, Fuse. Fuse, uploading data. Noddy, check. Happy face! Oh, my, you are busy today. Indeed, I'm checking all the toys in Toyland today. Busy, busy. We're going for a picnic with Pat Pat and the Buckets later today. Would you like to come too? Negative. Worried face. I still have many toys on my list. Picnic time must wait until all checkups are complete. Goodbye. You are now exiting Brickerville. All funny pockets. We've gone all stiff and we don't know why. Oh dear. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, Noddy. My pa is playing strange loud music and I can't stop it. Oh, don't worry. I'll take you all to see Fuse when he's finished the checkups. Thank you. Something strange is going on. Huh? What did you say? I said something's not right in Toyland. <laughs> I need to investigate. Why have Pat Pat and the Pockets gone wonky? Time to open a new case. Investigate. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now. Let's call this the case of the wonky toys. <laughs> What's your plan, Noddy? I think I need to find out when Pat Pat and the Pocket started having problems. I don't understand. Fuse checked my musical paw earlier and it was absolutely super perfect. So when did it start going all wonky? Um, I think it was after the Pockets and me had been at Daltoid's house. We were doing running and racing and fabulous star jumps. And one, and two, and three! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm going to see Deltoid. Maybe you went wonky there. I'll come back for you when I've got the answer. <laughs> and I'll stay here to help. Good luck, Bye. Noddy. Daredale. Here we come! Oh. Greetings, Noddy! <laughs> come race with me! Hey! Oh, thanks, Deltoid. Not right now. I'm on an investigation. How can I help? Pat Pat and the Pockets have gone wonky. It happened right after they were with you. Did you notice anything strange? No. Nothing. All we were doing was warm-up exercises. Like this. Are you OK? Uh, my arm! I... I can't stop it. Stop, I say. Stop! It looks like you've gone wonky too. Uh, but I had my checkup this morning. I'm in perfect working order. Mm. The only thing you've all done since Fuse's checkups is exercise. Who else was with you? Carlton was there. Carlton? Let's go and see if he's OK. Huh? And if he is not? Then I think your exercises are making everyone wonky. Hmm. You are now entering Brickerville. <laughs> oh! There's Colton. Well done, Bumpy. <laughs> He seems a okay. He is in no way wonky. Whoa. I'm stuck. 
Stuck? Oh, Noddy, you were right. I have made the toys go wonky. Whoa! Oh, Deltoid, I'm sure you didn't do it on purpose. No, it is my fault. Oh, oh, I met everyone at Fuse's workshop. I suggested that we run and jump. Whoa! Oh, I, Deltoid, am a bad friend. Huh? <laughs> ah! Fuse's workshop? Were you there this morning, Carlton? Yes, I was there for my checkup. So were Pat Pat, the Pockets, and Deltoid. Ha! <laughs> hmm, maybe it's not the exercises that made everyone wonky. Maybe it's something else. <laughs> everyone was in the workshop at the same time for their toy checkup. And now everyone is wonky. Come on, let's go to the workshop. Hey! Oh dear. Hi, Fuse. I know you're busy, but. Sorry, I've no time to talk. I must finish fixing the train. Oh, happy face, bad face, funny face. Oh, oh. What's wrong with him? Um... Fuse, I need to ask you about the checkups this morning. No time. No time. No time. Goodbye. I think there's something wrong with Fuse, too. I bet that's why everyone went wonky after their checkups. I'll go and talk to him. <laughs> this way. Let's all go and talk to him. I'll just paint your wheels green. Then you're all finished. Painty, painty. You can't paint with a saw, and the train's wheels aren't green. They're red. Oh, uh, no more paint. Uh, error. Need green paint. Uh, error. Need green paint. Hmm. Uh. We need to keep him busy until I can work out what's wrong. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> error. Error. Happy face. Sad face. Happy face. Find paint pot. Error. Error. Pretty sure I left it here. Uh, pink pot, pink pot, ha ha happy face. Pink pot, pink pot, oh, pink, pink, pink pot, ha ha happy face. Ah! Pink, ah! Pink, pot, pink pot, pink pot, happy face. Oh, Deltoid, wait for me. Hmm. I need to find out what made Fuse go wonky. Oh, Bumpy, look. It looks like Fuse installed a new program on himself, and it hasn't worked. <laughs> You're right, Bumpy. This picture looks different from Fuse. It looks bigger and stronger. So this computer program must have made Fuse go wonky. And then he made all the other toys go wonky too. If I can uninstall this program, he might go back to normal. But how can I do that? Hmm. I need to connect Fuse to his computer. And to do that, he needs to touch his pad. <laughs> pink pot, pink, pink, pink pot. Happy face. Wait for me. I've got an idea. Deltoid, Deltoid, do you copy? I need a hand. I copy, Noddy. Deltoid, to the rescue. Pink pot, happy face. We found your paint pot. Pink, 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 pink pot, pink pot. Pink, 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 pink pot. Deltoid, now! Pink pot. Program uninstalled. Rebooting.
complete. Oh no! Warning! Wonky toys! What's happened to you? <laughs> there are lots of toys that need fixing, Fuse. Thanks, Fuse! That's so much better! Error fixed. Toys perfect. Happy face! Whee! All right! Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, Noddy. You've solved the investigation. Thanks. Once I worked out that everyone went wonky after their checkups, I knew something must have happened at the workshop. When I saw that Fuse had given himself a wonky upgrade, I knew why he'd made the toys wonky too. The case of the wonky toys is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Welcome, everyone, to the Tug of War game. Yay! Yay! It's the pirates. Hi there! <laughs> oh. Ow. All right, all right. Versus the ninjas. <laughs> Deltoid, please prepare the rope. Ah! <laughs> Here you are, my friend. Yes, thank you, Deltoid. <laughs> Each team will pull on one side of this rope. The team that pulls the other one over this line wins the tug of war cup. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, this is super exciting! I know. I wonder who's going to win. I hope it's the pirates. Yeah. They said they were going to have a party if they win. And I totally love parties. Ready. On your marks. Get set. Tug! <laughs> oh. oh! All right! All right! We're so strong, we broke the rope. I don't think so. Look, the rope's all worn out. It looks like somebody tried to cut it before the game. And that's why it snapped. We'd better get a new rope. But how can we make sure it doesn't get cut too? We've got to find out who cut the rope so that they don't do it again. I need to investigate who cut the tug of war rope. Time to open a new case. Investigate! Now. Let's call this the case of the tug of war rope. Where are you going to start, Noddy? Right here. I need to question the teams. Maybe they know something about it. Good thinking. I'll tell everyone we'll have the tug of war game when you finish the investigation. Attention, everyone. We didn't cut the rope, lad. We're no cheats. Maybe it was those there ninjas. Ninjas, ninjas did, did not, not cut, cut the, the rope. rope. Did you see anything strange before the game? No, nothing at all. And now we can't win the tug of war and get the cup. <gasps> Don't worry, Captain. I'll find out what happened. Thanks, Noddy. I know we can count on you. Thanks, wise Noddy. Aha! Come on, you two. Let's see if we can find some clues. <coughs> what is it, Bumpy? <coughs> A toolbox. Clever boy. Look. There's a saw in it. Maybe someone used this to cut the rope. Let's think. Who owns a saw in Toyland? Smartysaurus? No. Pat Pat? No. Deltoid? No. Fuse, of course. He's got lots of tools in his workshop. Let's ask him if he knows anything. You are now entering free. 
Thank you, Noddy. Happy face! Where did you find my toolkit? It was under a bench by the tug of war game, and there was a saw in it. That is true. I think someone could have used the saw to cut through the rope. It was not me. Truly, Noddy, I used my toolbox to check the big screen before the tug of war, and then I forgot to take it home with me. I did not cut the rope. Oh, I see. Thanks. What are you going to do now, Noddy? I'm going to keep investigating. I wonder if I've missed a clue. Let's see. The pirates didn't see anything. There's the basket that had the rope in it, and there was pink ribbon in it too. Whoever put it there could have cut the rope. Where can I find pink ribbon? Pat Pat! She's always making things. I bet the ribbon is hers. Come on, Bumpy, let's go and find out. Animal Acres, here we come! find out who cut the rope. Not yet. That's why I've come to see you. Pat Pat, is this yours? Whee! Yes, that's my ribbon. I decorated the arena with it. And Big Ears asked me to use it for the bow in the middle of the rope. So were you near the rope? Yes. What is it, Revs? Pat Pat, look. These skipping ropes are all worn out at the end. Yes, I cut them so that the pockets could skip. Skip, skip, skip! What did you use to cut them? My special cutting stone. See? The tug of war rope was all worn out too. Did you use the stone to cut that? No, I would never do that. My cutting stone always stays here. Oh. It's too heavy to move. So if it wasn't you, or Fuse, or the pirates, or the ninjas, who else could have cut the rope? Nauticorns! Nauticorns! That's right! They were near the rope too. When? Just before the tug of war started. Oh! Do you think they cut the rope? Maybe. Let's go and talk to them. Hi, Nuddy! Let's look for your investigation! Sorry, Noddy. <laughs> yeah. Hiya. Have you found out who did it yet? Not yet. Can I ask you a question? Uh-huh. You were all seen near the tug of war rope before the game. Did you cut it? No. no. Us? Us? You cannot be serious. But why were you near the rope? Well, we may, I'm just saying may, have been looking for a way to help the pirates win. Yeah, cos they were going to have a party. We were just going to make it a little bit slippy for the ninjas. With some polish. But we didn't know what side they were going to stand on, so we gave up. So you didn't cut the rope either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. This is such a hard case, Bumpy. Biggies always says that a good investigator looks and looks again. It's time to go back to the beginning. It's Noddy! Ninjas, get ready to win the tug of war. Ahoy there! Aha! Oh! Aha! Sorry, everyone. I'm still investigating. If I don't find out who cut the rope, they might do it again. <coughs> I haven't talked to Scurvy yet. Scurvy? Ahoy! <coughs> oh! <coughs> Look! Your beak went right through the string. Oops! It must be really sharp. Did you have something to do with the worn-out rope? Yes! Yes! Scurvy did it! 
Scurvy did it! You did it? But why? Practice! Practice! You were practicing tug of war? <laughs> Oi! He's been practicing for days. So that's how the rope was cut. Your beak cut it when you were practicing before the game. Ah, sorry! Sorry! Oh, shiver me, Timber Scurvy. You didn't mean no harm, lad. <gasps> Don't worry, Scurvy. <gasps> we can still play. It's okay, Scurvy. It was an accident. I think there's another way you can help the pirate team and keep the rope safe, too. I, Deltoid, am sure this rope will not break. Here you are, my friends. Ready to cheerlead, Scurvy? Ah! Cheerlead! Cheerlead! <laughs> Get ready! Get set! Tug! Heave-ho, pirates! Heave-ho, pirates! Heave-ho, pirates! Heave-ho, pirates! <laughs> Scurvy makes a marvellous cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And now we can have the tug-of-war without the rope breaking. It's all thanks to you, Noddy. Well done. How did you work it out? I thought whoever cut the rope wanted to stop the game. But when I saw Scurvy cutting through the string, I knew he cut the rope by accident. He was practising before the game. The case of the tug-of-war rope is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Bumby, fetch. <laughs> fetch the day! <laughs> again, again, again! Sorry, Pockets. I need to take this flower to Big Ears. Oh. Maybe you can find someone else to play with. <laughs> Yay! Whee! Not you, Bumpy. Come here, boy. <laughs> Bye, Noddy! Bye, Bumpy! <laughs> Thank you for my splendid flowers, Noddy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you like it. See you later. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Huh? It's the farm animals. What are they doing in Toy Room? Oh. oh dear. Oh. 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 Help! This way. Back to the farm. <gasps> Hey! No, no, this way. Here. No. Oh. oh, it's no good. We can't round them up on our own. Oh. Oh! Where's Farmer Tom? I don't know. Oh! Phew. And who let all his animals out? Don't worry. I'm going to find out. I need to investigate. Who let the animals out? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the runaway animals. Huh? <laughs> Big Ears, uh? can you stay here and make sure the animals don't escape? Uh, I'll try. Uh. I'm going to go to the farm and try and find out what's happened. OK. Oh. And if you see Farmer Tom, please tell him to come to Toy Green. Oh. Uh, quickly. Bye, Big Ears. Sorry, can't stop. Hello, Noddy. Hmm. Here we are. Hey, Bumpy, 
Look! <laughs> the gate's wide open. Mmm. <laughs> that must be how the animals escaped. <laughs> Doesn't look like their latch is broken, so someone must have opened the gate. But who and why? Maybe Farmer Tom left it open by mistake. Let's see if he's in. There's no answer. Clever boy! It's paint! And someone's knocked it over. Oh! Footprints! I wonder who made these? Was it Farmer Tom? Or one of his animals? Or was it... Smartysaurus? Yes! So Smartysaurus was here. Maybe she let the animals out. Come on, let's go back and find her. Hi, Smartysaurus. Hello, Noddy. I'm working out how daisies are made. They're so interesting. Wow, that's great. Smartysaurus, have you been at the farm today? Yes, you are clever. <laughs> how did you know? You left your footprints behind. Oh, yes. I was so busy looking for flowers, I knocked over a whole tin of paint. But Farmer Tom said not to worry. Farmer Tom was there. Yes, and Tractor, and all the animals. And were they all there when you left? <laughs> oh, yes. And you didn't open the gate? No. Why? I'm on an investigation. Someone let the animals out, and I'm trying to find out who it was. Well, maybe it was Farmer Tom. But where is he now? Let's think. Was he painting the fence when you knocked over the paint? Yes. So maybe he went to get more fence paint. Wow! Good thinking, Noddy. And where would he go to get more paint? Oh, oh, I know! Brick a build! Of course! Thanks, Martysaurus. Come on, Bumpy, let's go. <laughs> oh, he forgot his flowers. All right. Alright! 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 Farmer Tom! There you are! <laughs> Hello, Noddy! What's up? Your animals have run away! Run away? But, but, but how? Someone opened the gate! Was it you? No, it wasn't me or Tractor! We checked the gate was closed when we left, didn't we? Where are my animals now? Toy Green! At least I hope they are! Big Ears needs your help. Come on, we need to hurry. <laughs> oh dear. Big Ears. Oh, Noddy, there you are. Come on, let's round up the animals. Hey. Uh, come back! <laughs> ah. oh, oh, oh. oh dear! <laughs> oh, thanks, Martysaurus. Wait, I have an idea. Come on, everyone.
you. <laughs> well done, Noddy. Thanks, Big Ears. But I still haven't solved my investigation. I need to find out who opened the gate, or it could happen again. Hiya, Noddy. Hello, Pat Pat. Have you seen the pockets? I found their bouncy ball near the farm, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> Here, Bumpy. Fetch. Animals are fetching the ball. I've never seen them do that before. They must have been playing fetch with the pockets. Wait, that's it. We need to find the pockets. So where did you find the ball? Just there. Hmm. Let's check around the farm. Hey! <laughs> Hello, Pockets. Playing chase! Fetch! <laughs> Pockets, when you came to the farm, did you open the gate? Yes. And leave it open? Oops! When you were chasing the goose, all the other animals ran away. Oh, oh sorry! It's OK. We've rounded them up. Look! Here they are now. Yay! Yay! Sorry! Now, remember, you can come and play when you like, just as long as you ask me first. And always close the gate. <laughs> well done, Noddy. <laughs> You've solved the investigation. Thanks. When I saw the animals fetching the ball, I knew they must have been playing with the pockets. It was them who opened the gate and let out the animals. The case of the runaway animals is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Ah, <laughs> another beautiful day in Toyland. <laughs> yes? No. Yes? No. Yes? No. It sounds like it's coming no. from Pat Pat's house. Yes. Come on. Yes? No. Yes? No. Yes? No. You lost! Yes! We won! Oh, dear. What's going on? Why are you arguing? We were playing my board game and we can't agree on how to add up the points. Pirates win! <laughs> Aww. Why don't you just read the rules of the game? Noddy's right. <laughs> the rules will tell you how to add up the points. <sighs> oh, um... That's a grand idea! <gasps> the rules have gone. Arr, that's mighty strange. You sure you don't know where they are? No, I'm not playing anymore. Neither are we. Pirates to the galleon. Ooh. Wait, you can't just stop being friends just because of a game. Oh, dear. We'll never get them to agree without the rules. I know. I need to investigate. Where are the rules of the game? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this... The case of the rules of the game. What's your plan, Noddy? I need to find out when everyone lasts all the rules. I'll go and talk to Pat Pat. Good idea. <laughs> and I'll go and see if the pirates will come out. Hmm. I'm absolutely totally sure the rules were in the box when we started playing. 
Then they must be somewhere around here. What do they look like? Uh, they were written on yellow paper, I think. Yellow paper? Hmm. Nothing here. The pockets! Hi, pockets! Wow, look at all this! Have you seen the rules to Pat Pat's board game? No, we're busy making paper animals and paper planes! <laughs> so none of you have seen a piece of yellow paper? Oh, yes! Made a plane! Made a plane! Did you fly it? Where did it go? That way! Whee! <laughs> wow! Never came back down! That's strange. Why didn't the plane come back down? <laughs> nice catch, Bumpy! Hey, maybe someone caught the plane when it was flying, just like Bumpy did. A toy that flies. Who flies in Toyland? Riffs can fly, but he was with us all the time, so he didn't do it. Scurvy! <coughs> yes! Scurvy! Scurvy! <coughs> Did you take the rules of the game? No! No! Oh. OK. Scurvy, help! Scurvy, help! You want to help us find the rules? That'd be great! <coughs> Oh, mind the bamboos. <laughs> Careful, scurvy. Oh, what if the rules got stuck too? <laughs> like you, scurvy. <laughs> the pocket said the paper plane went flying this way, above the trees. Yes, yes, yes! Which means it was flying towards... <gasps> the farm! Maybe we can spot them from the air. <laughs> Come on, Revs. Helicopter mode! <laughs> Come on, Scurvy, let's look around. seen a paper plane or any rules of a game. Oh, this investigation is so hard. If I don't find the rules of the game, Pat Pat and the pirates might never be friends again. Bumpy, stop! <laughs> Look at that! The Daisy Mill spinning petals are pushing Scurvy backwards. So they are. Well, I never. <laughs> what if the same thing happened to the paper plane? The plane came from here and the Daisy Mill is here. So the wind from the Daisy Mill could have made the paper plane go in a different direction. Farm Tom, did you turn on the Daisy Mill today? No. I suppose the cat might have. <laughs> He's always jumping on the button and turning it on. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know how we can find out where the rules are. Farmer Tom, would you like to help me with my investigation? I'd love to, Noddy. Great. We'll need these. Come on, 
Let's go! Come on, Scurvy! They can be friends again. Seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So, who won the game? Mm -hmm. Is you both won? It's a tie. <laughs> mm. oh, we, we won! won we won! won. Yes, yes, but well, I won a bit more. more. <laughs> Good work, Noddy. You've solved the investigation. Where did you find the rules? On the Dynalab chimney. When I saw the Daisy Mill spinning petals, I thought the paper plane might have been blown in another direction. I was right. And now Pat Pat and the pirates are friends again. The case of the rules of the game is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Thanks for coming to see my new experiment, everyone. <laughs> Your light is fixed. I gave it a polish, too. Thanks, Fuse. I've practised so much, I can do it with my eyes shut. Today, I'm going to make... A rainbow. Ooh. Oh. First, I pour the colours in. You'll never make that work. I bet I could do it. I've done rainbow experiments like a million trillion times. <laughs> Maybe next time, Bling. Let's watch Smarty Saurus right now. <sighs> oh. Okay. I pour each colour into this machine. And a beautiful rainbow will appear. Ta da! Oh. <gasps> oh! I so knew you were going to get it wrong. It's okay. Give it another try. No, I'm sorry, everybody. I need to find out what went wrong before I can try again. Oh. Typical. If 
you don't have the colours in the right order, the rainbow experiment won't work. Just like making a cake. You have to follow the recipe exactly. Yes. That's why all my flasks were in the right order. But they're not now. Look, the colours are in a different order. Hmm, <gasps> how strange. Maybe someone moved them before the experiment. But who'd want to ruin my experiment? I don't want it to happen again. I need to investigate. Who ruins Marty Saurus's experiment? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? What? When? When? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of Smartysaurus' rainbow experiment. What's your first question, Noddy? When did you put your flasks in order? Just before everyone arrived. And I didn't touch them again after that. If you didn't touch them again, maybe someone else did. Maybe someone else was watching the experiment. Who was here? There was me and you and Bumpy. And me. And we didn't want to ruin the experiment, so we can rule ourselves out. Deltoid was here too. And Fuse. Pat Pat, the Pockets, the Naughty Corns. They were all really excited about it. <gasps> Bling! Oh, Bling wanted to do the experiment herself. And she said she knew you were going to get it wrong. We need to go and talk to her. Let's go to Fable Forest. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stay here and tidy up. Thanks, Noddy. Bye, Big Ears. Bye, Smarty Zorus. Good luck. Have you come to see a proper experiment? Actually, I'm on an investigation. I'm trying to work out who ruined Smarty Saurus's experiment. Oh, I can help you with that one. She did. It's, like, mega easy to do a rainbow experiment. Have you actually done one? Well, not exactly. I've never properly, totally, really done one, no. But if I did, I'd be great at it. Oh. Of course you would. So what have you discovered so far? It looks like Smarty Saurus's experiment was ruined because someone moved her flasks before she started. Bling, did you move them? No! I didn't touch anything. I wanted to do the experiment, not ruin it. Hmm. <sighs> Well, if it wasn't Bling, who was it? <coughs> You're right. Let's go back to the Diner Lab and look for clues. Footprints. I wonder who they belong to. Farmer Tom? No, his feet are too big. Pat Pat? No, her paws aren't sticky. The Dead Elm Ninjas? Of course, they've got sticky hands and feet. But they weren't here this morning. Maybe they came into the lab without being seen. Oh! Oh! They aren't ninjas after all. I need to talk to them. Daredale, here we come!
Where are they? Ninjas? Aha! Huh? Ha! Oh, hello. Did you catch, catch us, us if you can? can. Hi, yeah. Wait, come back. Hey. Oh. Maybe they did ruin Smartysaurus's experiment. Maybe that's why they're running away. Hey. Yeah. Well played, Noddy, but you'll never catch me. Ninjas are the best at playing tag. Yeah, but I'm not playing. I'm on an investigation. I want to ask you a question. Hmm. Whoa. Please ask us anything you need. Ninjas always want to help. I'd like to know what you were doing at the Diner Lab earlier. Did you touch Smartysaurus' science equipment? We were playing tag around the dino lab, but we didn't touch anything. Ninja promise. When we heard there was going to be a secret experiment, we stopped our game to watch, but that is all. hi -ya! Oh, I see. Thanks. We did see Fuse on his own in the dino lab. I know. He was fixing Smartysaurus' light. Ah, but I am sure I saw him cleaning the flasks. Cleaning the flasks? Really? i better go and talk to him. Happy face! Hello, Fuse. Greetings, Noddy. How can I help you? Hey, are you sorting out your things? Correct. I am putting them in order of size. It's the best way to organize a busy workshop. Oh! Fuse, did you put Smartysaurus's flasks in order of size? Correct again. I was helping her. They were all out of order, so I rearranged them by size. Just like in my workshop. Happy face! I think I might know how Smartysaurus's experiment went wrong. Can you come with me? Of course. You see, Fuse did move your flask before the rainbow experiment, but he was only trying to help, not ruin it. Indeed, I put your flasks in size order. But to make the rainbow, they needed to be in colour order. Oh! I am sorry. Sad face. It's OK. Now I know why the experiment went wrong, I can try it again and get it right. <laughs> and I know how you can help me. Happy face! <laughs> so, a little bit of this. Whee! <gasps> and a little bit of that. And... Ta-da! <laughs> a rainbow! Yay! Yeah, that was pretty... Amazing! <laughs> well done! <laughs> well done, Noddy. How did you solve the case? First, I thought one of the toys wanted to ruin Smartysaurus's experiment, but they didn't. When I saw Fuse putting his things in size order, I realised he was the one who'd moved the flasks. He was only trying to help. The case of Smartysaurus's rainbow experiment is closed. So... There's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! It is a lovely day in Toyland. So lovely that Noddy is outside gardening. In his pyjamas. Morning, Noddy. Good morning, Mr Plod. What? Noddy, it's morning. Why aren't you dressed? It's such a lovely day, I didn't want to waste time changing. There's more time for fun if I don't have to get dressed and undressed every day. No good will come of this. Just you wait and see. 
If Noddy's not using his clothes, maybe we can. Uh, I don't think they'll fit us. No! I mean, I have a magic spell that can bring Noddy's clothes to life. What good would that do? <laughs> if we can control Noddy's clothes, we can cause all kinds of trouble with them. And everyone will think it's Noddy doing it. <laughs> and not us. <laughs> That's goblin-tastic! <laughs> One, two, three, seven, six, five. Make Noddy's clothes now come alive! Come here, Noddy's clothes! There's Tessie Bear's house. I'll bet she's sound asleep. <laughs> Let's see if we can wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes, go and stir up those chickens. my stall last night. And someone trampled my flowers. Well, who was the someone? We don't know. None of us got a good look at him. Ah, the case of the unknown troublemaker. Well, if he comes back tonight, keep your eyes open. Don't worry, Mr. Plod. We'll find out who's doing it. <laughs> Boy, playing jokes with Noddy's clothes certainly was fun. What should we do tonight? I know. Let's make them steal things. Yeah, like stuff we want. Ice cream, tools, cars. <laughs> right. And the best part is, <laughs> we won't get blamed. <laughs> yeah, Noddy <Naughty> will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait here to see if that rascal comes around again tonight. <gasps> halt in the name of Plod! <laughs> Ooh, <whoa! gasps> huh? Red shirt, yellow neckerchief, jingly bell. Could it be Noddy? <sighs> oh. Hello, Mr. Plod. It's very late. What's the matter? There's a troublemaker in Toy Town, and it's you. What? I'm not the only one who saw you, Noddy. Huh? Mr. Wobbly Man had a book stolen, and he saw a red shirt just like yours. Martha Monkey had her bike stolen, and she saw a yellow neckerchief just like yours. Even Tessie Bear had a fresh pie stolen, and she heard a jingly bell just like yours. But, but, but I've been home all night in bed, Mr. Plod. Sound asleep. Really? Hmm. Then something funny is going on. Either you're telling a fib, Noddy, or someone else is wearing your clothes. How could someone be wearing my clothes? They're right here and... Oh, oh no! Where did my clothes go? Gosh, everyone seems upset with me. Like I let them down. 
Everybody's naughty every now and then Sometimes I'm bad but soon I'm good again You think I was naughty, naughty as can be But I wasn't naughty, don't be mad at me Ah, uh, hello Diana doll Tell me the truth Noddy, did you knock over my stall the other night? No, I would never do that I wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't. I believe you, Noddy. Thank you, Dinah, but nobody else does. I know. They all think they saw you causing trouble last night because they saw your clothes. But that's just it, Dinah doll. I don't have my clothes. They're missing. That means someone is pretending to be you. That's not fair. I'm going to catch this troublemaker. Hmm. I'll help you set a trap. Thanks, Diana Doll. But what kind of trap? Last night, someone stole Tessie Bear's pie. So let's see if this hungry thief also likes muffins. Hey, everyone. I'm making Googleberry muffins tonight. The tastiest ones I've ever baked. Oh, oh, oh yay. 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 Did you hear that, Sly? <laughs> I know where we're going to send Noddy's clothes tonight. Do you think the troublemaker wearing my clothes will show up? I sure do, Noddy. Look! He looks just like me. Let's get him! There's nobody in these clothes. So how are they moving? Ask the clothes. Clothes, what's making you move? Magic? And whose magic is it? Big ears? The goblins? Listen, Noddy, I have a plan. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> I can hear the bell. <gasps> it's the real Noddy. And his clothes. So, it was you goblins who caused all these problems. It was us all right, Noddy, but you'll get into trouble. <laughs> yeah, we'll never tell anyone it was our fault. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? <sighs> I arrest you for the unlawful use of red shirts, yellow neckerchiefs, and jingly bells. We're sorry we thought the troublemaker was you, Noddy. We should have known you would never do anything so naughty. Where are you going, Noddy? I'm going to shake the spell off my clothes and put them back on where I can keep an eye on them. But it's night time, Noddy. Time for your pyjamas. Oh, I'm tired of pyjamas. I think I'll wear my clothes to bed instead. 